Why is the Philippine military considered Asia's most powerful force? Imagine a world where this island nation's military has capabilities greater than much larger countries. It might sound unlikely or even ridiculous, but let's explore how this could be possible. Though often overlooked globally, the Philippine military has hidden potential. Its strength comes not just from its resources, but from a special mix of geographical advantages, tough experience, and strong determination. The real power is not just in the size of their army or their technology, it's in the fierce spirit of the Filipino soldiers. But what makes the Philippine military fearsome and stand out among all militaries in Asia? One, geographical advantage of the Philippine military. The Philippines, with its more than 7,000 islands, offers both challenges and benefits that greatly shape its military. This vast network of islands and the surrounding waters not only define the country's strategic position, but also help mold the Philippine military into a highly specialized and flexible force. The numerous islands create a complex environment for military operations with dense jungles, rough mountains, and dangerous waters. Filipino soldiers need to master different terrains. Their expertise in amphibious and island warfare comes from this challenging geography. Their ability to handle such varied conditions sets them apart from many other armies. A key strength of the Philippine military is its skill in amphibious warfare. The country's geography requires operations that connect land and sea. Filipino troops are trained for landing operations, coastal raids, and fast assaults from the sea. Their training also addresses the challenges of dense jungles. Soldiers learn to move quickly navigate through thick vegetation and use guerrilla tactics. This training is essential for dealing with insurgencies and operating in places where traditional combat methods might not work. Their ability to navigate dangerous waters also ensures they can effectively patrol coastal areas and carry out maritime missions. Besides jungles and amphibious skills, the Philippine military is ready for urban combat. Urban areas with their complex layouts and large populations require special training. Filipino forces are skilled in operating in these environments, whether they are dealing with insurgents or handling emergencies. The military is also trained for disaster response, crucial in a country prone to typhoons and earthquakes. This quick mobilization and aid during these events show their flexibility and readiness for various situations beyond traditional combat. The modern Philippine military is deeply influenced by its long history of conflict and resistance. From early tribal skirmishes to major battles against foreign invaders, these historical experiences have shaped the military into a force skilled in unconventional warfare. Before colonial times, the Philippines was home to various indigenous tribes. These tribes often fought over territory, resources, and political power. The tactics and strategies they developed during these early conflicts helped form the basis for the military traditions of the Filipino people. These early experiences taught them to be resilient and adaptable. When the Spanish colonizers arrived in the 16th century, the Filipinos began a long period of resistance. Spanish forces tried to control the archipelago through military might and colonial rule. Filipino leaders such as Lapu Lapu and Andres Bonifacio led many uprisings and guerrilla campaigns against the Spanish. They used hit and run tactics and took advantage of their knowledge of the local terrain to fight back effectively. This period was crucial in developing the Filipino military's skills in unconventional warfare. World War II was another significant chapter in the Philippines' history. During the Japanese occupation, the defense of Bataan in 1948 was a key event. 
Filipino and American forces held out against the much larger Japanese army despite shortages of supplies and being outnumbered, their bravery and endurance were evident in this battle. In more recent history, the 2017 siege of Marawi was a major event. The Philippine military faced tough urban combat situations and had to minimize civilian harm. Their success in retaking Marawi showed their ability to adapt to new forms of warfare and handle complex threats in crowded environments. Overall, the experiences from these historical conflicts have made the Philippine military skilled in dealing with asymmetric warfare. In the 21st century, the Philippine military skillfully combines all tactics with new strategies, making it a powerful and flexible force. Their experience with unconventional warfare gained from years of fighting insurgencies and their advanced intelligence capabilities make them strong players on today's battlefield. One of their main strengths is their expertise in unconventional tactics, such as hit and run tactics, ambushes, and guerrilla operations. These tactics developed through extensive experience with insurgent groups, help them exploit the weaknesses of more powerful enemies their ability to operate in difficult and varied environments shows their skills and adaptability. The Philippine military also has a sophisticated intelligence system that uses both human and signal intelligence. Human intelligence involves gathering information from people and observations, which helps them understand potential threats. Signal intelligence involves intercepting and analyzing electronic communications, giving them real-time information about enemy movements and plans. This combined intelligence helps the Philippine military stay aware of threats and respond quickly by using both human and signal intelligence. They can anticipate problems and adjust their strategies as needed. Overall, the Philippine military's mix of traditional tactics and modern strategies help them stay effective against new threats. Their ability to adapt to changes, including cyber threats and urban warfare, shows their commitment to staying ahead of potential adversaries. This flexibility is crucial for maintaining their effectiveness and reaching their goals. Oh, well done, yeah. The heart of the Philippine military's success are its personnel. Filipino soldiers are known for their exceptional bravery, resilience, and adaptability. The, these qualities, along with their tough training, make them stand out and crucial to the military's effectiveness. Filipino soldiers are admired for their bravery. They face difficult missions and dangerous situations with courage, whether they're in a combat. Resilience is another important trait of the Filipino soldiers. They can endure and recover from tough conditions, like extended battles or harsh environments. Their ability to stay strong and keep performing under pressure shows their mental and emotional strength. The training, of, the training that Filipino soldiers undergo is intense and demanding. It builds both physical and mental strength through tough exercises and drills. This training helps them handle survival skills are a big part of their training because they operate in various tough environments. Soldiers learn to live off the land and navigate challenging terrains like jungles and mountains. This training ensures they can continue to function and succeed even if they run low on supplies. Filipino soldiers also excel at adapting and making the best of limited resources when they don't have the latest equipment or enough supplies. Besides their formal training, Filipino soldiers gain valuable experience from real-world situations. They deal with insurgencies, take part in peacekeeping missions, and respond to natural disasters. This practical experience helps them refine their skills and prepare for various scenarios.